Hello everyone. In this video, we'll take a look at AD Manager Plus's new custom reporting feature. Now, until very recently, you've been using the pre-built reports that provides almost all the information that you need. That includes uh, information about your users, groups, computers, contacts, reports on passwords, NTFS permissions, GPO, and also other platforms like Office 365, Exchange, and G Suite. However, we know that one size doesn't fit all, and that's why we in AD Manager Plus have introduced this new custom reports feature. As we all know, the benefits of custom reporting is you can filter data to narrow the results. You can even include custom attributes because every organization have their own custom attributes. And then you can build reports based on custom attributes. So that is one of the advantage of custom reporting. The third benefit would be you can create reports based on LDAP queries. And then you can categorize, save, and reuse these reports. So pretty much something similar to out of the box. So you create your own requirement based on your Active Directory needs. So in this video, we're going to have a look at three examples. However, you can create innumerable custom reports with this application. I'm just going to stick to three examples here. The first example would be filtering data to narrow the results. I'm going to be talking about a specific case. And the second one is reports that include custom attributes in your domain and how do you create an LDAP query based report using AD Manager Plus and this is all going to be focusing on custom reports let's get started here the first one being filtering data to narrow the results now assume your organization has five product divisions A B C D and E each division has its own organizational unit you wish to create a report that gives you the details of marketeers in these five departments or organizational units who joined more than a month ago. This is the condition that I'm going to specify. Who joined more than a month ago and haven't reset their password in the last 30 days. So these two conditions. And also the department is going to be marketing. I'm going to be targeting specific OUs. Let's see how to do this using AD Manager Plus. So. I go to the AD Reports tab and then I go to Custom Reports. I go to New Custom Report. So instead of building a new report, I already have this report made. So I'm going to quickly use that report to explain how this report works and how you can build a custom report for this specific case. I have it right here. Right? Now, in this report, you just give this report a name. So in our case, the name of the report is going to be Marketing Team Password Reset Report. So I already have this report here. So here you have the name, you just give it a name and you also give it a description. So the whole idea of this report is to generate the list of marketing team members of five different products or organizational units who joined more than a month ago and have not reset their password in the last 30 days. I'm quickly going to add this custom report to a category that is available or I can even create my own category. In this case, I've just created my own category and my category, I have named it as my reports right here. All right. Then comes the process of selecting the domains against which you are trying to run this custom report. If you have multiple domains, you can even select both the domains. And there comes the part of now selecting the organizational unit. You just hit the add or use in the select category and then select the organizational units that you want. All right, so we were talking about five different organizational units. You can select all five of them from this add or use option. Now, once you're done selecting the organizational units, now you are all set to select the users from the drop-down list. So I've already selected the organizational unit here from the conditions you just select users right and then you can click on click to add to add the conditions that you want and the conditions that we are talking about here is I want the when created date to be before 30 days and the password last set 
should be before 30 days and the department is going to be marketing so I specify an AND condition because I want all these conditions to match that is my custom query and I also can select the attributes that I wish to view in this specific custom report so I have a, a small list of attributes here you want more attributes to be added to the report yes you just hit show more and there you go you have a number of attributes that you can add to the custom report and then hit save so the minute you hit save the report is all defined and you can very well get the results not only that any report that you generate can be exported to PDF, Excel, uh, CSV or even HTML formats using the export as option. All right, so the report gets generated and you can export it and reuse the report at a later point in time. So that's case one that I wanted to discuss with you. Now let's focus on case two of custom reporting. Now most organizations store some information using attributes that are not available in native Active Directory. Now these custom attributes may be storing, um, I mean maybe for storing additional information uh, such as social security numbers, uh, passport details of your employees or employee number or any other uh, business requirement related attribute. You can use the custom report feature in AD Manager Plus to generate reports based on these custom attributes. Uh, let's take a look at an example here. So. I have a custom attribute in my organization say the name of the attribute is going to be technical attribute for example this attribute here stores information what kind of information is this stores the name of the team that a specific user belongs to say networking team or server team and so on now you want to create a report to get details such as last logon time, password expiration and more for different values of this specific attribute. That is a report for technical team attribute. Let's see how to generate a report based on custom attribute using AD Manager Plus. In our case it's going to be a report based on technical team attribute. Again I go to AD reports and then I go to custom reports new custom reports I've already built a report here so I'm just going to use it alright so what I do now is I basically give this report a name so the name of the report is going to be technical team report for networking the name is already there and I give it a small description so that uh, those who generate the report know what the report is uh, going to give them and then I add them to a specific category and again I have created my customized category and I've named it as my reports so that it would be easy for me to actually uh, go through these reports and then comes the process of selecting the domains you can even target specific OUs if you want and the next step in this specific case is you're just going to uh, select the type of objects that you're going to uh, target so in this case I'm just uh, going to focus on the user objects in Active Directory so I just select users and we are talking about uh, custom reports here so I go to a condition here and then I select configured custom attribute under the filters and then I select technical team attribute I just specify a value uh, so I can filter based on this specific value in this case I'm going to filter out all the uh, all the members or users having the technical team attribute value as networking so I know that they belong to the networking team and I can also select the attributes that I wish to view in this specific report I select the attributes that I want and then hit save So again, this report is going to return with the exact criteria that I'm looking for. So I get to know how many users in my team have a, a value specified uh, next to the technical team attribute, custom attribute. All right. 
So this is how we we'll generate a report based on custom attribute using AD Manager Plus. So what can you do with this report? For instance, if you'd like to drop an email to uh, the folks belonging to the networking team and you want to get a, a list of users belonging to the networking team and you have a specific attribute that actually identifies the folks of the networking team, you can very well make use of this custom reporting feature to get the list of users belonging to that specific team. Right? You can think of various scenarios and then make use of this report. I'm just going to give you uh, an overview of what you can do with this custom reporting. I leave the rest to your imagination. All right, so let's create the third report here. That is creating a report, a custom report based on LDAP query. Let's say you have an LDAP query and you want to get information pertaining to that specific query which you have built or which you have copied. So AD Manager Plus now allows you to do that as well. So the custom query that I have here, the whole idea of the custom query is to generate a report to find all the user accounts that are enabled but have not logged in for the past 30 days. Right? Again, I repeat the condition. The user account uh, that are enabled but have not logged in for the past 30 days. So to do that, again, I go to the AD Reports tab. I click on Custom Reports. I go to New Custom Report, but I've already created a report here. For the same condition, I just edit the report. You can see that it's under the My Reports category. That is the custom category that I've built. So when you have a look at the report, as always, the first thing you do is you just give this report a name and a description so that this report uh, makes sense to all those who generate it. And also you add it to a specific category of reports. And this is the custom query that I have created. And I'd like to generate a report based on the custom query that I have created. All right, so I just paste the query here in the query field. All right, and how do I do that? Is I just select custom query, and when I select custom query, I get an option to actually paste the query. I paste, and then I can select the details that I want to, do, to be displayed in the report, such as the user's SAM account name, or the user's first name, last name, display name, department, manager, and whatnot. So I select all the attributes that I want to be displayed in the report and then hit save. So this is how I build uh, a custom report for a custom query that I have. Right. So now once the report gets generated, this is going to give me the values that I'm looking for. So again, I'm looking for a report that gives me the list of all the users that are enabled but have not logged in for the last 30 days. All right now, as we mentioned in the beginning, right, uh, this feature will let you create reports for most scenarios you can imagine. It saves a lot of your time and effort, which could be devoted to other important tasks that you administrators usually focus on. So we would recommend you to try this feature out and also feel free to write to support at admanagerplus.com if you need help to tackle uh, the reporting scenarios that you have. Now, for those of you who are new to AD Manager Plus, please download the 30-day free trial by visiting www.admanagerplus.com and try out this custom reporting feature to fit your business requirements. Thank you.